you zap it and you hear like a, uh, you hear like, he sees he goes, ow, and then pulls his hands back. We hear like a female, ouch, I think from underneath the cover, as you do it. I would just be like, Caesar, you have your own quarters, really. Oh, so what, what the hell? I'm busy over here, what do you want? I can see you're busy. Couldn't you be busy in your quarters? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, well, it's, it's not what you think, it's not what you think. Look, I, and, um, he's gonna pull the sheet off. The, um, what he's gonna if you can. Yeah. So it's like this, uh, it, it, it's like an, uh, a really elaborately designed robot exoskeleton with like all like smooth edges and contours. Basically looks like somebody's just dipped a woman in molten aluminium and then just pulled her out again. You know. But a really fine looking woman with a beautiful body that I'd like to take to the movies. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Like, so, uh, okay, still could have worked on that before. <laughs> so, I, come on. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what your taste is like, but I don't care. Just not really in, in, in the cargo hold. Okay, well, anyway, you, did, you clearly didn't come down for this, so what do you want? Did you, you, can put, see I'm busy. Did you put the vial in one of the lockboxes? Did I put the vial in one of the lockboxes? Of course I did. That thing's bloody dangerous. It's, yeah, um, it's just one? over there, and which one? Uh, just number two, the second one in. All right, well, uh, and all right. I'm gonna keep have people keep an eye on this because I don't want that shit getting out on here. Okay. Well, do you want to stand here guard while I go upstairs? Or? No. Oh, and I'm gonna go over to comms panel and call my three dudes. Okay. Down to the cargo hold. Yeah. Okay. They come down. What's going on? Okay. All right, guys. Um, so we got that virus over in here. I'm gonna point at the uh, the the, the, the lockbox. Say, I wanna not. I wanna watch on this thing. I don't want anyone happening to you know touch it. That include uh, none of the miners and not syllable. Okay. All right. Cool. This thing stays under lock and key until we offload it. Okay. Sounds good. And they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And uh, they go, so where's the sample? In the slot box, I'll point at it. He goes, okay. Uh, keep it, don't let anyone near it. Alistar, is this a good time to bring up our pay? We haven't actually been paid yet. Or you, you did promise us you'd pay us like 750 credits each. Yeah. Like a week. Yeah, that was like, character. How long, how many weeks has it been? Uh, four. Seven, five, four I don't remember making it. <laughs> Hold on. I would say, all right, you, uh, one of you guys, start keeping an eye on this. The other two, we'll go discuss your pay. All right. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'll let you get it down to about four hundred now, because they're quite impressed with your, you know, that you've moved quickly to secure a threat downstairs. So. <laughs> all right. So twelve hundred times four. Yeah. <sighs> all right. I suppose I could pay them. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I suppose I could pay them. I don't want to have to murder them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna like bring the other two, discuss the terms, you know, bring it down to four, and uh, then I'm gonna pay them. And I'm okay. actually gonna pay them. Okay, cool. Oh, so, Caesar, what are you gonna do with uh, this shining example of womanhood in front of you? Well,. She's still got um, a very rudimentary personality matrix in at the moment, and she's just called Mira from her model name. So I'm just going to call to Mira and say, Mira, come with me. And uh, I'm going to head up to where I presume Jimmy is. Um, I'll ask Alice to where he's on the way out, and I presume he'll tell me. Okay. So I'm going to head um, up to the wreck area. Well, once, I, once I've sorted out the, my crew, I'm just going to tell him, you know, Make sure that things are under, you know, under guard, and you know, all right. And you, and there might be a little bit of a bonus in there for you. 
and goes, oh, okay, cool, cool, I I'll do it. No, don't you worry, I my uh, got eyes like a hawk. And he turns around and walks into the wall and goes, shit. And then just like walks around the wall and goes to stand by the lock. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I'm, 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 just, I'm not going to sigh in front of them. I'm just going to, I'm just going to walk out. I view, I'm going to sigh deeply. If these guys fuck this up, I'm going to melt them. After I take the money back. <laughs> <laughs> like quietly under my breath so no one can hear it. And I'm just like, these guys fuck this up. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what's going to go on now? What are you guys going to do? Well, I'm so... currently passing a bottle of scotch around with my minor friends. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Having like, so happy having, to have normal yeah, having like a sip and just having like a normal conversation with normal human beings who aren't pyromaniacs or otherwise mental. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how both of you fall under the otherwise mental. I get that category. <laughs> yeah, you get your own special category, Alistair. Thanks, I love it. And um, Caesar's just like walked in with Nira and is standing there waiting for. Jimmy and the rest of them to turn around and see him. Um, a, a few of the crew, like uh, a few of the mining crew, stand up like, "Bloody hell! By the gods, what is that thing?" That sort of thing. Right. I mean, okay. Jesus, what the hell is that? Well, Jimmy, by, it's sort of by way of apology, really. It's uh, it's yours. Uh, what do you think? Um, Roll for hotness. Okay. We need, we, need, we need to roll yeah, to see how hot this robot is. Uh, D20. How hot this is. robot is. But, but A D20, cool. But ha, ha, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, don't roll it yet. How much money did you pay okay. for, for the thing again? 32, I think we negotiated. Okay, so you can have a plus 5 modifier to this roll of 20. Oh, oh yeah. fuck. Oh, Alright, yeah. alright. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, imagine Ed, Ed from Mass Effect, but not creepy. So you know, it's like you know, and sure. it's all, it's all, hang on, it's, it, it's always going to be creepy. Let's just say you're just really hot looking robot thing. So yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's okay. Okay. Um, why? Well. You know, we've had our rough patches, and, um, you know, for example, taking Betty away from you without asking, and seeing your blood, and knocking you out, and, you know. Wait, Betty away? Oh. What do you know what am I talking about? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Out of character, you know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. No. Oh, okay. Well, okay, out of character then. Do you remember um, we went to... A secret military base, and then stole a oh, yeah, secret weapon that was going to change the galaxy. You got Betty to kill the guy, but I hardly count yeah. that as stealing. Well, I sort of took her without your permission, and that was, you know. Yeah, she, 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 she's she, yours, was, she was logged anyway. into his PDA. She was like actually on his PDA. He actually took her. And yeah. Her on his PDA. yeah. Ah, right. I think she's okay. still there. Okay. Think she's but I don't know. I don't know her in character, so okay. I shall continue. I think I'm a tender. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, the other one was obviously knocking you out and then stealing your blood, which I presume you kind of latched onto. So. Water under the bridge, mm. I guess. It just happens to be a very tall bridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, in character. But anyway, by, um, by way of apology, I thought I'd um, splash out on something and, you know, Betty's been talking about a new dress and I thought this is one step up, so here you go, my friend. You don't have to accept it. Of course, I can take it back, but you know your produce. This is good stuff. As they go, wow, it's a good model. Uh, apology accepted. C come here, come here, sit down, sit down. And Caesar sits. All right, I shall walk behind the bar and pull out my most valuable scotch and sort of sit down and go here. Have a glass of this, and I'll <laughs> pour my. Okay, um, roll, Caesar take it. roll a d20, please, Caesar. <laughs> Actually, no, roll a body check, sorry, roll a body check on a d10, that's it. I'm waiting. Then below yes. I'd like to make a toast. Box. I'd like to make a toast before he does uh, this. A, a body check on a d10. Fine. 
Uh, actually, I, I, actually, actually, no, you don't do that, do you? Sorry, yeah. R roll a body check with your uh, B20, yeah. Roll another one. Yeah. yeah. With my modifier, okay, right, okay. Ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you should have kept the first one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, so make the toast, Jimmy. And I'll tell you what happens. I'll, I'll sort of, I'll sort of go. Caesar. Two very tall bridges, as a clink. He goes, here, here. Here. Here, here. here, very tall bridges, and he knocks the drink back, and no sooner has it touched his tongue, it's like cyanide, he just goes bang on the table in front of him, unconscious. <laughs> does he spill the, does he spill the scotch? No. I would like to try and rescue the scotch. The, 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 scotch, is that, is, uh, the scotch has gone down, he is drunk. It. Ah, is he drunk? Right? Yeah. And he goes, uh, 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 <laughs> one of the miners just starts laughing and goes, uh, pretty light stomach your friend has there. I go, <laughs> I go. oh dear, you have no idea, no idea. All right. Um, I, I just go, couldn't even handle a black assassin. So, uh, <laughs> does anyone else have uh, anything to do? Um, I'm just sort of cleaning the brewery. Okay, the brewery is clean. Let's clean all the rat poison. Yeah, the, the, brewery, the brewery is clean. Yeah. You, you did it in uh, mid session, so you're okay. You don't need to be there. You yeah. can be wherever you want in the ship. Yeah. So, uh, so I figure we're getting close to that time to head out. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to head back up to the bridge if it's getting close to that time. Okay. So, Alistar, you are looking out over this part of space. And on your right hand side is the reading for the uh, immediate space around you, the radar reading. And you can see a huge shadow to your left, which is the uh, the space station itself. But you can also see a larger shadow to your right, quite larger. far away. Yeah, yeah, to, to your right, quite far away. And it wasn't there a second ago. And you can hear that there's like a reverberation uh, sound box in the cabin, so you can hear what's going on in space. And you could hear like a boom, like like a huge object jumping into the sector. I'm going to hit the uh, comms and and get, say, Jimmy, get up here now. Uh, there's <laughs> someone's someone. Uh, uh, just come take a look at this. All right, as you go. All right, all right. Back in oh, a second, fellas. That's like, I'm gonna say, and be quick about it. For once. All right, all right. I all right. shall briskly walk to the bridge. All right, Caesar. Um, you are now awake. Do you want to? Um, actually, no, actually, no, Caesar. You are not <laughs> awake. You are not awake. Uh, syllable. You pass uh, this new robot body, and there is a button on it that says uh, AI interface, and it's now mm -hmm. it, it's set to off. Um, but, yeah. but the, the, you, there's like a manual next to it, and you re, you flee through it. And you can see, like, pressing this button links the robot to the AI. It, like, um, it, it registers it for, for an AI on the ship or wherever it is, and it syncs them up. Yeah. I see. Okay. Um, you, you know what this thing red. is for? Because, Caesar, I assume you've let syllable in on what's going on, like, you, just so you wouldn't get freaked out by this robot thing. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've let syllable in, but not. I, I didn't trust Alistair, and I didn't want to tell a little Joey because yeah. I just wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. So, 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 yeah. so, so, syllable. You know what this is, and you know Caesar's not going to be around to do anything. So, what do you want to do? Yeah. Um. It's a shiny red button. You know this is for a. You know this is for um, Betty. Yeah. Um. And sort of, you say that pushing that button will like sort of like let Betty inhabit the. Yeah, it, it it says it scans for a uh, yeah. Okay. Um. Then yeah, sort of. I'll push the button. Let it scan for him. Okay. AI. Uh. The uh, the max eyes are closed, but they are all the ship powers down and goes boom. And and you you're all left in darkness for a while. So uh, so uh, guys, you are on the bridge, Jimmy and Caesar, and you're in silent mode at the moment. You're not giving off any emissions. You're not doing anything. You're basically Losing air very rapidly, but nothing can see you in space. You're basically just listing there. What the I don't know, hell like, just happened? Like, trying to hit the buttons to like, where, 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 why the fuck don't we have any power? 
Like, what, what, what button did you hit? I didn't hit shit. I was waiting for you. <laughs> what button still a bull hit? Oh, it's got to him, right? Do we have our own personal comms, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. call Syllable on our normal comms. Syllable, what the fuck did you do? I, I, I just let, um... Wait, oh... Does, does Syllable know that Alistair doesn't know about it? Yes, him? yes he does. He does. Okay. Um, then I, I say, like... I don't know, you know, it, it, it's just suddenly dark down here. Where are you? Get Caesar. Get my. Uh, I'm gonna try to call Caesar. Like Caesar. Caesar, what the hell is going on? Uh, Caesar, roll for consciousness, please, on a d20. Wait, hey, is it normal body check or uh, just uh, just normal d20? body check? Okay. You're still unconscious. Okay. Um, uh, can I sort of slap Caesar about a bit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just, just do a body check, yeah. Yes. These miners watching syllables just like slap Caesar away. <laughs> <laughs> they should be giving us extra for interplay entertainment. <laughs> no, you 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 actually you managed to fracture your hand on his face, and nothing happens. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna like ask Jimmy, where the hell is Caesar? I'm like, well, I left him unconscious in the recreational area. I'm sure the miners aren't gonna do anything in the ward to him. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna message. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll for molestation. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Are the female miners just gonna be following? Uh. Oh shit! Oh no! That's sodomy right there. <laughs> it was a natural one. There we go. Uh, yeah, they, they all, they all get uh, one of them, one or two. The more pervy ones are getting pretty touchy feely. Yeah, it's like a bit of a group. Uh, hey, are you aware? I was just, I was here thinking they were just going to draw the stashes on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is the wrong campaign for that. Jimmy. Actually, <laughs> that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. They're like, they're putting like uh, utensils up his nose and like, uh, you know, it's like drawing shit in his face. Deep pit I, I'm going to let's <laughs> <laughs> prepare for the excavation. Sobel. Sobel, get the <laughs> uh, so, so Alistair, what are you going to do? I'm going to call Sobel again. Sobel, get yep. to the mess hall. Wake Caesar up. We need to get the, we need to get it out. Him to fix this. Whatever the hell this is. Yeah, I... Some fucking weird. Shit, and now everything's gone. Um, uh, Alistar, you see a button in front of you that says uh, backup power with like a question mark. Question? And it's just. I'm gonna point at it like Jimmy. <laughs> Why <What? laughs> does that button have a question mark? <laughs> like, how, how am I supposed to know? I'm not an engineer. Oh, wait, I am. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. I was press the button. Yeah, like, like the rudimentary systems come back online. And so O uh, two uh, is is reimbursed, is re put into the CO two scrubbers are now back online. Um, it's still very dark. Uh, this is like minimal minimal systems are online, uh, but you have light, a little bit of light. It's like red, like pulsing light. Utilities and um, and uh, you're listing. And uh, Alistair, you look at the uh, the scanner, and you can see that the large shape is moving towards the station. He's still not in visual range, but you can see it's moving definitely towards the station. Are we between it and the station? Uh, well, you are too small. This is how big this thing is. You are too small for it to be in between it and anything. It doesn't even count as you being there. It would just like to touch you and you know, it would just blast through you. That's kind of what I'm worried about, actually. No, you, you're not in that trajectory now. Okay. You have 30 minutes uh, until uh, you can FTL. Like, um, I'm, I'm gonna call syllable. Have you woken him up yet? I'm trying. I'm uh, gonna yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't know he's asleep. I'm gonna be like syllable. What the hell's going on with Caesar? Because I don't. Know. He's just not waking up. I say as I punch him in the face. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do a body check for me. Jimmy. 
you have to terrible. punch Caesar? I mean, there's not a better way that you could wait to wake him up. I slapping you and it didn't work. Clearly I did. Oh, well, why, is, why are you not lovely? I'm going to look like I've been abused. You have. Just a sec. Yeah, well, I have now. To be fair, you do have a couple of pieces of cut on your nose and you're like a monocle and a moustache. You're getting hit by snowball. It's not like you're strong. That's true. No, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you, uh, exactly you, 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 you fracture your other hand on his face. Oh, okay. <laughs> you try splashing water on him or electrocuting him. <laughs> it just keeps hitting him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you have magic. And I don't, and, 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 and like, as syllable, I remember, remember what happened with the head? That's why I'm not using <laughs> no. magic. No, no, no. You end up using your, your strong lightning. Give him a little static shock. I've done it to him before. I've not blown his head off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, I love that. So, so just do a, a, a binding check if you want to do that, or channeling check, sorry, if you want to do that. Yeah. It's a D10, try and get him so, in. Yeah, yeah, for some odd reason, um, it's like not. Um, Recognizing my oh yeah, like yeah. You, yeah. You're, you're fine. Yeah, you, you zap him and Caesar, you are now awake. Fantastic. Well, as a reflex, my arm's going to go up and I'm going to slap Silver around the face. Okay. <laughs> uh, body check for me. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, 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 Silver, I'd like you to roll a sharp check for me. Okay, Silver, you are now unconscious. Um, <laughs> for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that was not the intended result. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I, okay. I'm gonna call over calm. Syllable, is he awake? And I'm gonna look at the ship to see if there's anything, you know, I can recognize about this massive fucking ship that's coming. Okay. Um, the, well, the ship systems come back online, and the mech's eyes open, and uh, y you can. She just like blinks, and she just like looks around. And she like uh, realizes uh, she looks at Caesar and, look, and then looks at Syllable, and she goes, uh, "Is uh, is he okay?" <laughs> yeah, he's um, he's fine. He's just taken a little beat to the head. Um, nothing he didn't deserve or anything. A little beat to the head. She, 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 just says, uh, <laughs> she just says, uh, "Where's Daddy Bear One?" He's, uh, he's upstairs. Go and go and see him. Okay. He's waiting for you. So, so she just goes skipping away. Like, uh, when the lights come on, I'm gonna be like, "Good job, syllable. Whatever you did, it worked." Fucking Caesar. <laughs> I, I assume Caesar's still unconscious. <laughs> no, no, no. Caesar's awake. No, Caesar's now. He he he's he's awake in this lock. He knocked. But he's not called over. Con yeah, yeah. Alistair no, no. still thinks he's unconscious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Alistair will. Um, he he was awake, but he's now not. So I bring him up. I'll bring him up. Let, let me consult this all out. What do you mean he was awake and now he's not? What have you two been what? doing down there? I, mean, I don't know. What? In a room. <laughs> well, I I just woke up and my face hurt and Syllable was lying on the floor with a big red mark on the side of his head. So, I, I, I mean, I don't know. Must have been the miners. They're still here. What's this cutlery everywhere? Why is there cutlery everywhere? Uh, I, it's probably best you don't know the answer to that question. Anyways, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna be like, whatever, just get your ass up here, and I'm gonna see what I can see about this ship that's coming okay. in the area. Caesar's gonna head up and carry syllable with him. Well, uh, well, Alistair investigates. Okay. So, okay. What, what does everyone want to do? Well, I'll sort of go to the ship sensors and try and determine what this mysterious ship Alice keeps going about is. Mm-hmm. Right. So you can see um, the uh, on the registry, the uh, the ship registry on the thing. It says um, uh, Keratan design, and the name's blacked out on the actual scan when they're scanning the ship. Ah, well, that's a good sign. Keratan ship, blacked out name, always ends well. By the way, uh, Dean, yeah. I don't think, because, uh, cause, you know, Alistar did grow up on Relic. So I don't know that Alistar actually knows that he's Keratan. 
Uh, he, does. He, he does now because you've been. This is like years and years and years after Relic, so he does now. But he doesn't really look like them because he looks human. Yeah, he does look human. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, I'll, so we have like sublight engines online now and everything. Yeah. Like all those. Back. I, as much as I like, like large anomalous ships floating around, I uh, would suggest we make a hasty move away from here at sublight. And so we I, have the old drive going. I'm going to put a hand up to, to Jimmy, like, Jimmy, let's not spook them by suddenly rabbiting. The, I was thinking more. The ship is now leisurely in... ratting away. The, the, the ship is now in uh, visual range. <clears throat> And it is this huge, you know, these star destroyers from uh, Star Wars. You know, the, the yes. it's that kind of sh yeah. it's that kind of shape, but it doesn't have like the uh, you, you know the bit that pops up at the back. You know, it doesn't have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, yeah, it's, it's just it's just that kind of flat diamond shape, but it, it's like mm. a bit fatter than that, and it's uh, completely black. And it's just it's got like these uh, warning lights blinking on it as well, just stopping. It's how big it is. You know, actually, it's like a skyscraper. It needs like these lights to stop things from hitting it. Just just pulsing out. And it, um, it's like the executor from Return of the Jedi. Uh, I don't know what that is. I can't remember what that is. But that, that's Ooh, I, I think I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, the, well, I don't know. The ship, uh, it turns around. And uh, you, can, uh, so you can see a scan that the weapons are free on it. And this lance of light comes from it over your head. And into the space station behind you. And the space station instantaneously explodes in a cacophony of light but no sound obviously but dull like sound from behind you and you get a lot of, of thermal warnings from behind you because you're that close to the blast that it's like it's uh, covering your shield you know but it doesn't take them down yeah um but you're blasted away in into space but you, and and the the back has turned around so you can see the uh the uh the space station just ripped apart in space and like, uh, you know. So. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna look at Jimmy at, at this explosion and say it's time to go. Yes, it's time to move like a small mammal. Um, it's it's um, <laughs> it's uh. It's firing of its weapons have uh, re revealed it on scan, and you can see it's the uh, Keratan ship, Special Forces Dauntless, uh, D A U N T L E E S, T L E double -S, S, sorry, Dauntless. Well, I'm going to kick the uh, the sublight engines into to full throttle. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, sort of, well, I'll sort of move us like around the debris. Sort of come out around the other side and sort of try and slingshot away. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to do a perception check for that. It's gonna have to be a bloody good one because uh, there's some big bits of debris in there. Because the space station on the future the, is. I want to go around the debris field for that exact reason. Yeah, yeah. It's we're just, trying, we're yeah. just trying to see if. Uh, yeah, you want to get as close as you can to it so you can mask your own signature. So Hi. you're trying to stay away from the. Okay. Um, oh, that's the wrong guys. Uh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, definitely the wrong one. It was worse. Okay, uh, the shields are now down because of debris slamming into the shields. Um, uh, but that's it though. You you behind. I'm gonna do my best to try to put them up. You 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 be. You be I'm gonna do my best to try to bring them back up. Okay. Roll your uh, channeling then. Oh. That's not good. Uh, backlash table. Uh, hold on, I can re-roll. Um, I have okay. the, the skill to like re-roll. Okay. Is it infinite re-rolls or is it just the one? Three times per session. Okay. This is probably a good time. Yes. Okay. There you go. Uh, the, oh. sh the shields are back up to 25%. There you go. Um, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Uh, so, like, the, the ship is on the other side of the, of the debris field. Um, but the Dauntless is already smashing through the debris because its sublight engines are just that much bigger than yours. They just—it's already like coming through the debris, 
and its shields aren't being affected by the by the debris at all. So what are you going to do? Let's jump. Let's time it like Jimmy. We've got to jump. You have another 15 minutes to wait so you can jump. I'm like, 15 minutes, man. 15 minutes. It's like, is, I'm just going to go, all right, I'm going to try something I learned in the Argon sector. And I'm going to sort of like pull the ship into the debris field. Okay. Kind of like duck down under them as they plow through. Okay. Uh, perception like, roll for me. Yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna try to you know, be more careful with using. You can see. You, you, you can see. Oh, my rolls are back to normal, guys. <laughs> all good. My rolls are back to normal. <laughs> Shit. This is why I was surprised at the beginning, Dean. Yeah. Um. Okay, so the shields are now down, and the ship is now down to, um, let me just do a double check on the Bacchus group, so I can see. Uh, I'm also gonna, uh, um, I'm gonna call over comms while we're trying this maneuver, it's like, uh, Caesar, where the hell are you? I'm coming, I'm almost there. What the hell's happening? I assume, yeah, you've been feeling the smashing and everything awfulness. Something like that, yeah. 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 <laughs> they blew up the station. Blew up the station. What the hell are you talking about? Uh, that, they blew it up, get up here now. Fucking cretins. Right, okay, yeah, I'm coming. Okay, your uh, core armor was at 20. Uh, no, was at 30, wasn't it? Because you've done your thing. 30, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Not now down to 20, because you've slammed right into the debris field. Um, and you are now underneath the ship. You can see it's firing off other things, but you don't feel impact, so they're not, they're not firing anything on you. But it's, you can hear that it's firing off other things on the scanner. And now something rocks you, rocks the ship, and you look on your, on your uh, status scanner, and you can see that something is broken into the cargo hold, and has opened the door and then shut it again. Oh, that's... that's not good. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go... call my, my crew on the comm and say what the hell is going on down there. Uh, you, you hear on the, uh... on the radio, like, uh, nothing, cause, like, eerie silence, and then you look on the, uh... you look on the, um... The monitor of the CCTV down there, and you can just see smoke. There's like haze of smoke, and like uh, th three or three guys lying on the floor in pools of their own blood. I've got a bad feeling about this. I just go, Alice, uh, Alistair, any, any word? What's going on down there? No, you, I, well, I'm still in the in the um, cockpit, so I imagine you that you you can look at the the monitor as well. Mm -hmm. Well, when you say nothing, I'm going to sort of like side alone and go, Oh. Oh, you better get down there then. I'm, I'm going to, I'm just, Caesar, where are you right now? Jimmy, get, uh, Jimmy, lock <laughs> the doors behind us. Because something is awful is happening here. No need to ask me twice. Now lock those doors tight. Caesar's, <laughs> Caesar's just coming in the door as you do that. And I presume Betty's. Somewhere, I don't know where Betty is actually. She was, she, yeah, was, supposed to, she, she was, was coming ahead of you, wasn't she? Yeah, she was skipping somewhere. So. She's at a cockpit. Alright, all right, uh, Betty is now on the cockpit with the rest of you guys. Oh, I, I, I think you've got a friend. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna try to heal Syllable to wake him up. Okay. They're channeling. That's fine. Okay, uh, so so syllable, yeah, you're now awake. You are now awake. Guys, fantastic. What happened? Uh, have I missed anything? I'm gonna tell him shut up. There's some someone's on the ship. <laughs> that doesn't. She's gonna turn. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound good. She's gonna turn to Betty and um, Betty. Do you know what's what's going into the ship? Do you know what's going on? She goes uh, running scan. And then like, her her eyes roll back into her head. I'm kind of pointing at her and like now Betty and Jimmy. Just like Betty. I'm like, uh, uh, sure, yeah, sure. Like like that's that's Betty. And then I and then remember the sheet. 
And he's like, uh. <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah, yeah. Teaser gave me the Android as a present. I was gonna, you know, see about getting better into it, like, after we'd FDL jumped. But, yeah, you know. I guess now's as good a time as any. Uh, like, under my breath, she might need a bath. <laughs> okay, so, 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 her eyes, like, roll back into head, and she goes, uh, there are, there are 20, there are 15 assailants on the cargo deck that I can see, and we're being tracked by a, uh, Keratan Special Forces Dreadnought by the name of the Dauntless, and she slaps Alistair straight in the face and goes, I am perfectly clean, thank you very much. <laughs> I realize, uh, and like, oh, what are they? Are the guys on? Are are the invaders Keratan? She, she goes. I I'm not able to ascertain what race they are. They're wearing armor. I go. Well, there's one way to find out. There you go. Are are my are Hell borders? <laughs> are my men? Are are? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm asking. I'm asking many of my people are still alive. I I'm afraid I'm de I'm detecting no more life signs on the cargo deck. Motherfuckers. These motherfuckers, and I just hate them. Oh, they're gonna pay. These guys are gonna well, pay. I like those guys. Alistar's angry now. <laughs> that's the, that's the first thing them. he thinks about. That's hilarious. Oh, I just paid them. <laughs> I just paid them. <laughs> uh, right, guys, we'll take a quick five minute break and we'll come back half past and uh, we'll get on with it. I mean, that's basically exactly Alistar. I just paid them. It is, yeah. So, Alistar. Hello. I'll be right back. So, do we negotiate with them, or do we just... Keratans don't strike me as the negotiating type. I've got to be honest. No, no. I mean, from Caesar's experience, that's that's the case as well. But if they are Keratan, you know, Caesar's quite happy to kill them. That's fine. And Alistair's, you know, angry at everything, so he's going to kill them anyway. Yeah. So I don't think there's really much... There's much alternative, really. But you can try, if you like. You know? Um, Considering they've invaded our ship and are probably going to steal something, you know, I think we can all guess yeah. what it might be. Um, yeah. I can't imagine they've, they've come here to talk. So. Yeah. It was only a matter of time before the brewery would be possessed, so. Hmm. Yeah. How's that going, by the way? Has Dean said anything about um, how your business is, is ticking along? Um, no, I, I, I think it's almost in a um, like holding pattern, you know, just like you know, uh, getting uh, the recipe right, you know, then building up <laughs> production. You know, that sort of... It's not easy to block the of that poison. Yeah, <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. Um, I think syllables kept um, a, a, a couple of bottles of that through, I, actually. But because re remember in the last session, um, when he was at the bottom of that jar with like the guys coming in? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he had um, a. It was like I had messaged Dean saying that syllable had um, like a hip flask of this scotch on him. Just in case he had to, uh, the opportunity to, to like um, put it in so like someone's drink, you know that sort of thing. Um, so he's at the bottom of this shaft, people, like heavily armed people coming in. He just thinks, "What the hell?" Throws it. It completely <laughs> spooks everyone and saves his life. <laughs> I remember that. Oh yeah, I remember, I remember, that. Yeah, I remember that. I was so sure you were going to die that day. Oh, so good sure. God. <laughs> I, I don't know how John Ball makes it from session to session. And you know what? I haven't mm -hmm. learned. But when, uh, when I leveled him up, I, I put a point in channeling and a point in sharp. None in body. <laughs> <laughs> that might have been a mistake. Yes. Just a little bit. Oh dear. Yeah, I. I can't really think what they'd want other than the virus that we've got. Really. Yeah. Which is disappointing because it was going to be a really good payday. 
so hopefully we can get out of this. Yeah, well, yeah. well, well, well I rolled decently on rolls that mattered. That was nice. I think all we mm -hmm. really have to do is keep them busy, e e either from the virus or to the or sort of on the ship until we can FTL. We then FTL, then can dispatch them at a leisurely pace as long as we're away from the doors. That's, that's very true. Yeah, I expect so. I mean, we can handle 15 armed, armed guys. That's not, shouldn't be too difficult. No, especially with two channelers. Hmm, it's true. Challenge is really good in this. Yeah, I think, I think it it's good though that it's not just restricted to just combat though. Yeah. So like Dean's giving you freedom to, you know, shock people awake and, you know, do other things. Yeah. Like create ice domes around yourself to protect yourself from heat and things like that. So. Yeah, yeah. Add, add something, doesn't it? I mean, all of the, well, I don't know. It does, yeah. A lot, a lot of the interesting situations that we've been in have been because of channeling incidents, for example. Mm. Shall we say? Yeah, I, 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 I think sort of magic and channeling that sort of thing in role play games, it, it, it's very easy to either make it, uh, well, like, you can either make it OP or compensate too much, and then you can also give, like, have it too restricted as well. Yeah, yeah, um, it's hard to get it in the middle. Mm. Hmm. But hey, who doesn't love space magic, eh? Oh, uh, good old space magic. Ah, uh, yes. Space. Good old space magic. Tom, did you play your Dawn of War games against Andrea? I played the first one. The we, first one? Yeah, we had time for a game. Oh, before. cool. How did that go? Okay. I had to go. Uh, surprisingly well for me. I won. Oh, good. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Yeah. What was he, what was he playing? Uh, well, he couldn't get his Tau to work, so he ended up playing Orcs. And then I switched to Imperial Guard. You know, because like, then it was our second choices against each other. Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. okay. did that. Yeah, I think I think the game's up on YouTube. It might be. I don't know. Is it? Okay, I might look at it. It might, it might be. Uh, Did um was Dean streaming it then? Yeah, Dean streamed or... it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I'll have a watch of it at some point actually. Was it a quick game or was it? Well, it was. It was there's, well, there's about ten minutes of waffling, and it gets to about twenty minutes. So. Okay. It's about a twenty minute game. Oh. Too long. Hmm. I kind of got a ridiculously good start, and then that basically snowballed into the end. <laughs> As it does with Imperial Guard, yeah. 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 Just a mass of Guardsmen just everywhere. And then I also ended up with a ridiculous number of Sentinels, because I put them on Overwatch, and then my like, Overwatch to build, and I completely forgot. So I had, by the end, about six or seven Sentinels just standing around because I'd completely forgotten. <laughs> they came in useful for destroying his base, but I had completely forgotten yeah. that I'd set them on Overwatch. All right. So mm -hmm. I used cool. all my like, vehicle pop cap on them. So, um, <laughs> everyone ready to carry on? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So uh, what, do you, what, are guys, what are you guys going to do? Here. What are you guys going to do? What are we going to do? Well, I, th I think the plan is that the three of us, um, apart from Jimmy, head down. I don't know if Jimmy was all that eager to head down. Then. Well, I need to stay on the bridge and pilot Betty the ship. Can handle, you know, this stuff. How armored is Betty's suit? Pretty armored. Yeah. Um, yeah from what I bought, I remember. So would good she actually be coming. useful fighting? Yeah. So the, I mean, the intention was that I bought something that was that would be useful in a in a fight situation, not necessarily against you know big guys, but she wouldn't you know fall to three bullets, for example. She could. Um, Does she have a own gun? I don't think so. I don't know. Does she have her own gun? Well, well, so what, she has, has a gun. She has combat capabilities. 
Okay. I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm just gonna look at her. Can you actually fight? Uh, she says. Uh, she gives you a wink and goes, "You bet." And like, uh, puts her hand up and like, the like your fingers elongate into claws. That's kind of scary. Naughty thoughts to me. Very uh, Not exactly. I mean, I'm a judge, let's even judge that stuff, but <laughs> not been my kind of thing. Um, Although, actually, really like... thinking about it, that explains a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, um, I'm gonna be like, wow, Sobel, wow. I'm gonna be like, all right, uh, that's nice. Uh, I think this will be a little more useful. And Hander, I have an extra pulse rifle, a Sorian pulse rifle. Okay. Cool. And I'm gonna hand her one of those and be like, here, let's wipe these motherfuckers up. Okay, so who's going down to the? Uh... The cargo hold. Uh, Caesar is. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm going down this way. And, uh, yeah, Alistair's going to put on his little visor so he has a little bit more defense so he doesn't, you know, die of it too much. Jimmy, and, you uh, Betty's down coming down as well. And I shall wish Betty good luck as she leaves. <laughs> and stay on the okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm going to sigh a little bit for being, you know, so very useful. I'm a ship As merchant! <laughs> what do you expect? Right. I, I, I'm just, as we step out, I'm gonna tell Jimmy, keep her out of sight. Okay. I don't I'll want try. to get blown up while I'm while we're wiping these fuckers out. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Latch onto a big chunk and just wait. You know, that's exactly what I was kind of thinking, but uh, we'll see how my rolling goes. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna sort of be leading, but very, very cautiously, because I don't want to pop out to the corner and get raked by bullets. Okay, <laughs> Betty is where the word Betty is. Oh, okay. I'll delete my circle that would be Betty then. Okay. Um,. There you go, let's move myself over near to Betty. Has Betty just like um, charged around a quarter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I keep the eye on how they put together, so. Yeah, 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 you can do that. Just in case things turn south and I need to make a hasty retreat. Okay, I'm gonna put you on the thing then, but you can't do anything on Out of. Yeah. Because if they all die, I'm making a beeline for the ha for the hangar bay and just legging it. <laughs> <laughs> Betty, <laughs> with me! Loyalty has to relax. Come on, Betty, you are leaving! <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, so what are you guys gonna do? Um, I'm going to hurt people a lot, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't take Fair my enough. head. Uh, th this is only a shallow wall here. That's not a very high wall. It's a utility wall. So you can peek over it. Okay. You. Okay. Caesar's gonna do that. Okay, that's. So I presume you can. I'm gonna be a real dick here and say that uh, provokes free attacks of opportunity. So I'll let you take Great. it back if you want. Uh, you can take it back if you want. Do you wanna take it back? No, I'd like to use a sucker for gun pawn to gain, gain um, a combat round instantly. If that's alright. Yeah. I like to see people using the. Uh, yes. No, no. no. You go ahead, Dean. Okay. No. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, it's worth a try. <laughs> it was a good idea. You just didn't rely on our rolling. No. Okay, so. Oh, I wasn't that uh, last session. What, what's your What's your body score? My body score is 31. Okay, that's a hit, a hit, and a miss. Uh, and that does 56 damage to you. 
He's my cool just being. There we go. Made note of that. Thank you. Okay. And the guys in front are going to shoot at Caesar as well. Um, Wouldn't want to dent Betty. They don't hit you. Great. They don't hit you. Okay, now like what do you guys want to do? Right, who's first? Perception wise. I've got four. I have four as well. I've got four as well. Yeah. Four for me? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Roll okay, uh, I'll go. I'll go first, <laughs> so that Alistair doesn't just roast the whole okay. um, hangar bay. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to use... Uh, I came to drink our, uh, kick ass and drink beer, and I'm all out of beer, so let's okay. use the advanced skill. I'll pop this one up too. That's fine. Hey. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, you get to use it twice. Hey. Right? right. You get to use it twice, new rules. I've written the... I've, I'm, I'm in the midst of writing new rules, and we're using them as we go along, so you now get a... A, uh, you can either choose this, this. You can make this skill doubly effective, like double your damage for the skill or whatever, or you can just get it back as soon as you've right. used it. It's to you. Um, I think I'll get it back. Okay. Um, because it's I can use it three times, so, so I'm pretty cool with it. Free. Um, it so free. let let me have. Just give me one second. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, so nine shots, and then so eighteen shots. So we've got two sets of actions. So okay. the first is going to go like this way, and the second is going to go that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, have have a shot. So one, mm -hmm. two. The miss, a hit, hit. Oh. Um. So. Everything's the crit range is lowered by five as well, so I'm critting on. Oh, okay. Elevens, uh, uh, natural elevens. Okay. So those two crits. Uh, the miss. Yes. Yeah. Crit, crit, miss. Uh, crit, miss. Miss. Three crits. Miss. Three crits. Uh, uh, four three crits. crits. Four crits. Four crits. I think that's so that's the first four crits into them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll do their damage and then do the others. Okay. I'll just, right. just do them all at once. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll do the damage for these guys and then I'll, I'll move over to the other side because I'm doing like spraying that way and spraying that way. That makes sense. So uh, fifty-six. Uh, 72, just double all of these basically, that's many. Might as roll 12d8. Because it's on my macro and it's easier just to click the button rather than How do I, um, roll 12 I don't mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Control lead. And then... Might work. And move it. Oh. It'll be back momentarily, don't worry. That's alright. Oh, bollocks. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see anything. Oh, you saw nothing. <sighs> this is fucking <laughs> stupid, man. Right, I'll just fucking draw it because, you know, Roll20 doesn't seem to know how to do this, so I'm just gonna fucking draw it. Because, uh, I like using the, uh, pictures, but when I get to this fucking stupid. Oh, well. Mm. Yeah, it, it's the sort of thing where, like, when it works, it's great, but when it doesn't, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Risky where you were, and you've killed those people. Okay, I, I will now shoot the others. If that's okay. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so, uh, crit, uh, natural one. So that's that's me done for the round. Yeah. Great. Uh, so, forty-eight plus fifty-six is a hundred and four. Hundred and four okay. damage. 
This way. So these two are dead. And then that's me. Okay. Uh, Betty is going to run and jump over here. There she is. And she's just going to land on Good this on guy. Betty. And she's going to deal... Well, she's going to roll to hit first. Okay, yeah, she's critted. Might be a bit bare. Why? It's bare so I've got the wrong copy in. Have you seen it? I said it, I was like... So that away. And then I think I'll do it. It's fine. She does. 95 damage. She kills him outright. So she, that guy is dead. Lovely. She just like, uh, she just like gets him and just tears his throat out with a bare hand. I'm just be like, well, I guess she doesn't need the gun then. No. I guess you must be seeing a new side to Betty Jim. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a little unsettled by watching a bit <laughs> some random guy throw it out. I've got to say, this makes a change from the usual. She is a uh, a military grade AI. To be fair. Well, she yeah, is. but I've been using her to run my like piece of shit van for like <laughs> yeah, yeah. fifty years, <laughs> for like ten years. So, so what so. are you guys going to do now? You have 15 minutes. You have 15 minutes until the end of this battle, and then I get to decide what happens to the ship. And, uh... okay. I'll start to look. Yeah. Down to yeah. Down to yeah. Down to Follow Caesar, kids. Come on, kiddies. Let's all go on a special adventure. Oh, I sounded oh, always as well. That didn't sound creepy at all. That was fine. No, it didn't. Uh, no, no. It was meant to. Not meant to. Uh, the arrows. Are we seeing these four people before we continue? The arrows are the uh, shuttles. Okay. Our, our shuttles or their shuttles? Ours. Ours. Uh. Well, the one on the bottom one is the Betty Sue, oh, well, and the top one is the no. one, that, and the top one is the one that they parked. Well, all right. Um, I'll start uh, when he sees these these people on the side of the ship here. Mm -hmm. He's going to um, use uh, Winter's Wind to kind of freeze them in place and possibly to close that door they're coming out of. Mm -hmm. There's a door they're coming out of. No, no, they're all off yeah. the ship, so what you can see, they, they, that's what Betty said, they're all off the ship. Can... Alright, well, he's gonna, I'm gonna use Winter's Wind to just try to freeze all these people. Okay. That, without blowing up our ship. So, Chenley? Alright, that's fine. Um, I want to put this 8 plus 8. Alright, Everybody on. dies. Maybe, maybe not. It's not quite as strong maybe. as the other one. Well, oh, okay. is it? <laughs> 18 D6. <laughs> Sorry, oh, 16. God. Oh, 16. Yeah, oh, uh, it's not oh, even. Right. Wow, that's a lot of ones. That's a lot of ones. That has killed one guy. And uh, I'm going to cast it again, because that's one of my actions, and just try to do this again without fucking it up. Mm -hmm. Great. And let's not roll other shit. Um, actually, can I use? Um, I'm gonna use what's it called? Eye of the Storm. Yep. Okay. And so I'm gonna channel that again. All right, that's fine. So that's gonna add another forty-six to it. Yeah. yeah. You're not taking any fucking so, chances, are you? <laughs> we go for it. <laughs> there we go. Whole lot of one. Okay. Yeah, but a lot. The same, similar to my sixes though. Well, one this, dies, um, and the other one isn't very happy. Alright, are they um, at all for... Um, what'd you say? Are they at all frozen? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, Silver? Do you want to go next? Seeing as I'm... Yeah, uh... 
he's yeah he's uh simple to go to um use winter's wind as well just because sort of anything else and it might yeah and do the whole freezing thing so yep that goes through mm -hmm. oh you're up to 10 now good he, yeah, um, I put a point in channeling and I've written sharp. Nothing came up on chat. Did you, did you no. type that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Wish it had been lag my end. Yeah, 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 yeah. 